Hey, this be Clever Sausage. Yeah, and uh, latest news in America, Minnesota, I think it is. White House locked down amid escalating protests over the murder of George, George Floyd. George Floyd. Yeah, White House went into lockdown earlier today as protesters stormed the area surrounding the government building after a black man died while being arrested by U.S. police officers. Yeah, protest, protesters chant, I can't breathe, near White House amid escalating protests. The march took place just hours after a police officer was charged with the murder of George Floyd. Yeah, this clown over here, right? His wife filed for a divorce. She's so saddened, felt so sorry for the family, you know, she sympathised with them. Yeah, and then she divorced this clown. Um, and they're going to charge the other three, apparently. Um, a large group of protesters gathered outside the gates of the White House as they chanted, I can't breathe demanding justice hours after a police officer was charged with George Floyd's murder video shows yeah okay so let's have a look at the video uh, Trump reckons oh, when the riot start that's when the firing starts sort of thing you know when the riot uh, was it the looting starts that's when the, you know, the shooting starts he can't shoot them man he can only use like rubber bullets and you know water hose water can or whatever he can't shoot them he's a clown um, yeah, uh, someone should take pot shots at his wig. <laughs> no, tricky. Yeah, he can't shoot them. Um, yeah, sometimes the guy needs to use his brain. But, um, yeah, rubber bullets or, or a hose, you know, or that other thing they got out with a, it's like a whist and a taser that um, boils your skin, you know. It stops you in tracks, but it's, it puts boils on your skin, burns your skin, or something like that. You know, something like that. You can't physically shoot a crowd of people. What an egg. Um, okay, let's have a look at this video. In my, my jibber jibber. Let's have a look at this damn video. Here we go. Hopefully it's not too loud. can unite they, they unite Dusty again. protest you know um, yes yeah, so they should all unite and take over um, a, a large group of protesters gathered outside the gates of the White House as they chanted I can't breathe demanding justice just hours after a police officer was charged with George Floyd's murder video shows it's the third day of riots as protests have swept across Mr. Floyd's home, city of Minneapolis, Mini, what? Minneapolis and through the nation. Yeah, old Trump was saying on a report that, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the group, something like SAFTA or something like that, was um, you know, causing anarchy and burning shops and all that sort of stuff. No, I don't think there's any need for that. You know? There's just a certain group he was saying that a bunch of clowns, you know, they're taking it as an excuse to, you know, break people's businesses and burn, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, cut it out. Yeah, several reporters tweeted from inside the White House saying they were being held inside the West Wing where police and riot gear were filmed. The white Minneapolis police officer who knelt on Mr. Floyd's neck was arrested and charged with murder today. And... Authorities imposed an overnight curfew to try to stem repeated protests that left dozens of stores burned and looted as anger boiled over about the killing of another African American in police custody. Two, right. Derek Shelvin, 44, was charged with third degree murder and second degree murder, a uh, second degree manslaughter. He was also accused of ignoring another officer who expressed concerns about Mr. Floyd as he lay handcuffed on the ground, pleading that he could not breathe as Chauvin pressed his knee into his neck. 
Mr. Floyd, who was black, had been arrested on suspicion of using a counterfeit bill at a store. Didn't they say he was also drunk and on drugs? Yeah, um... Yeah, sure. Um... Chauvin, who was... Chauvin, who was fired along with three other officers who were at the scene, faces more than 12 years in prison if convicted of murder. Yeah. An attorney for Mr. Floyd's family welcomed the arrest but said he expected a more serious murder charge and wants the other officers arrested. Prosecutor Mike Freeman said more charges were possible but authorities felt it appropriate to focus on the most dangerous perpetrator. Protests also spread across the US fueled by outrage over Mr. Floyd's death and years of police violence against African Americans. Demonstrators clashed with officers in New York and blocked traffic in Houston and San Jose, California. In Atlanta, demonstrators jumped on police cruisers, set one police car ablaze and broke windows at CNN SSE quarters where hundreds were confronting police. Yeah, yeah, they're getting out of hand. You know. Sure, they're angry in all these different states. Um, but yeah, 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 there's a certain group, I can't remember if it's SAFTA or something like that, Trump said, they're, they're just making an excuse to damage everything, you know, um, cause anarchy and stuff. What did he say? Um, when, the, when, when they start looting, we start shooting. Yeah, um, sad how, you know, lots of life, poor family. Uh, good on Americans for marching, protesting, you know, making a stick, making a point, not making a stick, yeah, making a stick, making a point, um, yeah, who's going to be next, you know, hopefully there's not another one, oh, I, I was told about a girl who, um, they said committed suicide, she jumped off her um, veranda or something, but apparently on video, to show she was pushed. I'm not really sure. I just talked about it this morning. I haven't seen that one on the news yet. Um, I don't know. Probably there somewhere. Um, so yeah, what's this article here? This guy charged. Wife of police officer charged with murder over George Floyd's death. He's really worried about Kylie Minogue. Whatever her name is. Kylie Jenner. Whining over she's been taken off the um billionaire list, Forbes billionaire list. Wife of police officer charged with murder. Oh, no. Wife of police officer charged with murder over George Floyd's death files for divorce. Did I read that properly? Wife of police officer charged with murder over George Floyd's death files for divorce. Okay. The wife of the Minneapolis, uh, Minneapolis, oh gosh, Mini. Apolis police office charge officer charged with murder over the death of George Floyd. Hey, I need to borrow your glasses. Has filed for divorce according to her lawyers. Ooh, he looks like a hard bastard. Um, it's a bit like uh, what's that guy. Oh god, he sung ACDC's cover. Let there be rock. I think he's an Australian. Uh, oh jeez, can't remember his name. Um. Better come to mind in a minute. Ramsey County Sheriff's Office shows former. He used to be in Black Flag, I think. I don't think he was Australian. He's in Black Flag. Oh, damn, I can't remember his damn name. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, he was arrested today. Kelly Chauvin, the wife of Derek Chauvin, said she was devastated by George Floyd's death in a statement. Oh, Rollins, that's his name, Henry Rollins. Statement, secular law office statement. Her utmost sympathy lies with his family, with his loved ones, and with everyone who is grieving this tragedy. She has filed for dissolution of her marriage to Derek Chauvin. The statement said, while Mrs. Miss Chauvin has no children from her current marriage, she respectfully requests that her children. While Mrs. While Miss Chauvin has no children from her current marriage, she respectfully requests that her children, 
uh, out appearance in <coughs> excuse me any extended a coronavirus <coughs> oh jeez any extended family be given safely in privacy oh jeez price someone's glasses her elder parents and her extended family be given safety and privacy during this difficult time. The statement comes after it was revealed that Chauvin and Floyd both worked as security guards at the same Latin nightclub as recently as last year, but its former owners say she's not sure if they knew each other. What she is certain of is how aggressive Chauvin became when the club hosted events that drew a mainly black clientele so as racist responded responding to fights by taking out his mason spraying the crowd a tactic she told him was unjustified overkill he would mace everyone instead of apprehending the people who were fighting said mayor santa maria former owner of el nuevo rodeo club in minneapolis minneapolis he would call back up the next thing you would know there would be five or six squad cars Chauvin became the focus of outrage in four days of street protests across the nation this week after he was seen on cell phone video kneeling on the neck of Floyd for more than eight minutes during his arrest on suspicion of passing a counterfeit bill. Floyd died in custody and Chauvin was fired Wednesday and arrested today on charges of third degree murder and manslaughter. The three other officers who took part in the arrest were also fired and they remain under investigation. Look at that. Fiery protests continue across the US after the death of George Floyd. Yeah. Okay. While Chauvin's off duty or Chauvin's off duty job at the El Nuevo Rodeo Club stretched over 17 years until a few months ago, Floyd only started working there recently as a bouncer and only worked about a dozen events put on by African American promoters. Santa Maria, who sold the venue within the past two months, said she doesn't believe the two men knew each other prior to the fateful encounter Monday night. If Chauvin had recognised Floyd, she said he might have given him a little more mercy. She said Chauvin got along well with the club's Latino regulars, but his tactics towards unruly customers on what she referred to as African American knights led her to speak to him about it. I told him I thought this was unnecessary to be pepper sprayed. I told him I thought this is unnecessary to be pepper sprayed. The knee jerk reaction of being afraid it seemed overkill. Santa Maria said it was a certain it was a concern and I didn't voice my opinion but police officers have a way of justifying what they do. She said she was even shocked to see a video of Chauvin pinning Floyd to the ground with his knee, even as Floyd complained that he couldn't breathe. Yeah. Um, I thought I I thought he would have have more of a conscience, he said, even if he is a bit of a racist. He's a human being. At what point does humanity overpower your racial bias? Thomas Kelly, a lawyer for Chauvin, didn't immediately reply to messages left today seeking comment. Outside Chauvin's home in Minnesota yesterday, a message of anger aimed at the former officer was painted in red on his driveway. Murderer. Ooh. Today, protesters, protesters gathered in front of another Chauvin home in Wind near Florida which he has owned since 2011 with his wife Kelly a Lao Shin refugee realtor and former Miss Minnesota page, pageant winner both Chauvin and his wife have registered to vote there rather than Minnesota record show Chauvin last cast a ballot in Florida in November 2018 his wife registration is listed as an act of both are Republicans I don't mind peaceful protests at all, said Oscar Reyes, who lives across the street in the quiet neighborhood near Orlando. I hope everything stays safe. Yeah, because it's getting out of hand, eh? Um, it's, uh, Trump was saying there's a certain group out there that's... Fiery protests continue in several US states as we go to air tonight after the death of an unarmed black man at the hands of police. A former Minneapolis officer has now been charged with murder and manslaughter while three other officers are under investigation. And just an early warning, our story contains distressing footage and details, especially for younger viewers. Right now a curfew is in place in Minneapolis as protests rage for a fourth night. Angry demonstrators also mm. taking their frustrations to the streets in other cities, including New York, Atlanta and Washington DC. 
We're going to take you now through these live pictures which show the scene in Minneapolis now. It's just after one in the morning there and protesters, uh, as you can see, still out despite that curfew. A post office, bank and restaurant among buildings that were set on fire after the eight o'clock curfew there. Hundreds of officers on the ground, uh, riot police uh, also moving in. Uh, we saw some images that might be in the background of using water cannon. Uh, we are also getting reports that a Detroit, from Detroit police that one protester was killed in a drive-by shooting. So as you can see, still plenty uh, of people on the streets and police are on guard there. Kim Baker Wilson has the latest and another reminder some may find his report confronting. Another night of mayhem. Just threw something on fire, Chris, a firecracker. Not fired. But this isn't Minneapolis. Nick, you all right? You okay? It's CNN reporting from its own headquarters in Atlanta, 1,800 kilometers away. Earlier, I'm here to announce that former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin is in custody. The arrest people were calling for after several nights of flames and fury. But the man who pinned his knee into George Floyd's neck has been charged with third degree murder. His family wanted first degree. I can't breathe. His words are haunting America. Daylight protests today in several cities like Milwaukee, in Denver, Houston. Boston, New York, San Jose, oh man, this is terrible. Los Angeles, and anger on the president's doorstep. Some pushing, some shoving, some hitting. Putting the White House into lockdown. Tonight, the U.S. is back on edge with now familiar flames and destruction. I don't know what's going to happen tonight, put it that way. This is what a New Zealander could see as the sun went down in Minneapolis. Smoke rising into the air amid rising uncertainty. It's terrifying. It's re it really is terrifying because I'm, I just keep wondering like how far is this going to go? Is it, is it going to impact our building and where we live? We just don't know. I'm sorry? You're on your arrest. Okay. For many, the live arrest on air of a black journalist was also troubling. And the camera, left on the ground, back. still sending footage. Today, the president says he didn't want a night of lawless anarchy and chaos. But hopefully everything will be... Uh very different tonight. Last night was very sad on many different levels. But tonight little's changed. In Minneapolis, a curfew ignored. Many in the United States of America becoming more united with their rage. Kim Baker Wilson, One News. Yeah. People are rising up. They had enough of that crap, man. Yep, yeah, it's got to end. Good on them. Cheers, Amira. Okay, if you like that, news report, then uh, subscribe below. Smash that subscribe button. Ting that bell. Leave your comments. Yeah, and uh, I'll bring you some more exciting news as I find it. Later.